Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, uh, I'm going to talk about how I troubleshoot my GPU rigs. Most of the times I use Google's remote Chrome connection desktop and remote into my rigs and I'll uh, see what's happening, see if things are running, blah, blah, blah. But if they crash, if Windows crashes, there's no way to really tell what happened. So what you can do is I have a, a switch, a VPN switch, which I have cables connected to a couple rigs, or I can connect to a motherboard or a GPU and debug what is happening. So here you're looking at the direct connection of a rig, one of my rigs, and there's the switch. And out of the back, I have HDMI and USB, and you can actually control, uh, control the GPU via a mouse and a keyboard using the switch, and you can uh, switch between multiple rigs. Right now I have two sets of cables for two different rigs. One is freestanding where I can just swap it to whatever rig I need to troubleshoot. Yeah, like I said, if you're remoting in and stuff, you just sometimes don't know what's happening and you want to see the BIOS in that, you're going to need to have a direct connection like here. This is a integrated graphics, meaning that the uh, graphics are built into the motherboard and the CPU. So I can plug an HDMI right into the motherboard and the USB to have my mouse and keyboard uh, work on that display and that rig. That's the beauty of that CPU. So if you can get uh, integrated graphics into your motherboard and your um, CPU, I mean, that's great because then you just go to the HDMI port. You don't need to mess with having a GPU or finding the correct GPU, which is the primary GPU to show the uh, display of the rig. So here's my cables, here's HDMI and the USB, and that's all you need and a little switch. So yeah, you, you find the switch and that. So that's the integrated graphics one. That is easy. I leave that one dedicated. I leave that plugged in. This rig is all AMDs. The uh, CPU is discrete graphics, meaning you need a GPU. You, meet, you need to get the display out, the console out via a GPU from the uh, first PCIe socket. So I happen to know it's that one. Why do I know that? Because I follow the cable from the PCIe riser to the first slot of the PCIe on the motherboard right there. You see that? See that first one there, that adapter with the USB connected to it? I'll point to it in a second right there. I follow that guy and that's my first slot and I happen to know that's my primary. And uh, I use that one and I put the HDMI cable of the switch into the back of that puppy. And that way when I boot up, I can see the BIOS and I can boot into the BIOS change configurations and see if there's any boot up issues with windows or whatever. Again, remoting in via Chrome remote desk connection desktop does not work because you don't see that. You only see the system if it comes up and once it comes up. So you do need to have the, uh, basically a monitor, dedicated monitor to plug into these motherboards, whether through a switch or not, or a little display you can plug in and see what's happening. I don't have a baby display, a seven inch screen. They're about 80 bucks. You get a little raspberry one. But uh, yeah, I just use this HDMI cable to find the uh, either the motherboard, again, with integrated graphics on the CPU. When you buy a CPU, AMD or Intel, it'll tell you if it comes with integrated graphics. And that way you know that you can just plug right in right here into the HDMI port on the motherboard and you're good to go. No GPU required and you'll get the display out and be able to boot in the BIOS. Otherwise, if it's discrete graphics, which it'll say on the CPU when you buy it on the description, then you need a GPU to uh, see the uh, output of the, uh, the rig and be able to see the BIOS and stuff like that. And again, I showed you already how to find the primary one. If you want to, you can unplug all the adapters and plug the one in the first slot, then you know you got the uh, correct GPU, but that's, that's too much work, right? Just do the first slot on the motherboard, follow the cable to that GPU, plug in the HDMI in the back. If you leave it plugged in, I haven't really noticed any a uh, hash rate degradation, leaving the HDMI plugged into the GPU while it's mining. It seems to be run, run fine, runs like on those uh, 6600 XT AMD cards, I still get 32 mega hash. When that HDMI cable is plugged into the uh, GPU and I'm displaying. So here, this is the 3080Ti rig coming through on the motherboard, which again is the um, integrated graphics from the CPU. So that's the difference between integrated and discrete graphics. Integrated is built into the CPU and the graphics are shared on the CPU and the memory. Discrete graphics typically means you need a graphics card to see the output of the motherboard and stuff like that. 
definitely need it for troubleshooting. So there you go. Hope this helps. Simple little how-to or simple little trick on getting things done.